This is Jake reporting from Jake's Automotive. This tip's about how to hang a chain on a quad four engine. I'm working on a 98 uh, Cavalier with a quad four engine. I'll show you how I hang a chain on it. Put the camera on the car, Dick. Alright, the first thing you do is uh, go ahead and change your guys, go ahead and change your gears, and then hang the chain in there like I got it in there. You line up your gears with uh, a 5 sixteenths drill bit or a 5 sixteenths rod or some sort. You can see the two drill bits I'm using. And, uh, don't put your crankshaft on top dead center just yet. We'll do that after we get the top part of it right. As you can see, the chain doesn't want to drop down on the gear over here. So, we're going to pull the drill bit back out. Put a wrench on it. Back up a little bit, Dick. So to get the chain to hook up on that gear, you're going to have to pull your drill bit out and move your gear just a little bit. Once you do that, the chain will drop down back on it, and then just put, you know, put your drill bit back in there. So both the cams now are set to where they're supposed to be. The next step will be to go to the bottom and hook it up down there. Alright, we're still trying to get this sucker in. I ain't never had no trouble getting one of these in. I don't know why this one wanted to be so aggravating. But it's in there now. This right here is why you can't be a preacher and do this kind of work. <laughs> Alright, then next go to the tensioner. It's got a spot right there where the oil goes through that hole right there. The oil puts pressure on it. That oil pressure puts pressure on the chain. Keep the chain tight. Once you get your, once you get the tension up in there like that, and get it tight. Back up a little bit, Dick. to get the tensioner tight. And you need to take a screwdriver and push in on the plunger. Like that. And see that releases it. See it sticking out right here. Release it. That right there. When you push in on it, that releases your tensioner. Now she's ready. She's ready to put the cover back on it. After you do this, I like to go and pull those drill bits out at the top, rock your crankshaft back and forth a time or two, and put it back on the marks. Make sure everything's good. It's ready now to let it back down and pull the drill bits and recheck it. Make sure all your marks are lined up. After you rock your crankshaft left and right a few times, make sure everything's good. That's about all there is to it. I don't know why this, I don't know why this tensioner guy want to be hard to put in, but anyway, we got it in. That's it for today. Alright, when you get to the bottom, put your crankshaft on top of this center. That's that little hole right there, and then there's a mark on top of the keyway. Get that lined up. Get the chain on your water pump, which is up in there. And uh, get your chain on your crankshaft gear. Back up a little bit with the camera, Dick. Alright. Uh oh, now don't mess up my film. Okay. This is a feature film by Jay. Okay. No curses were. I'm sorry. Okay, but go ahead. Alright. Oh, you don't run it, Dale. I'm sorry.
All right, once you get the current stand right, get the chain on the bottom. I apologize. Take your rag, quit apologizing. Okay. Take your rag and chuck it in here like this. What's screw down? Chuck it. Yeah, chuck it. That's chunk what I said, chunk, chunk it. it. Okay. All right, now. So the chain don't move. All right, so that's set. Everything at the top set with the with the, uh, the, the, uh, the drill bit. So then the next step. Oh, is put this little bolt right here. That right there. You got to take that bolt off first, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now it's time to put the bolt back. Tensioner guide in there, if you can. Oh, it's going to be uncooperative. I might not know what I'm doing. This might require some cursage here, so I'm Cursage? Yeah. If I need you to say a bad word, I'll tell you. Until I do tell you, don't say a bad word. Okay, bastard. I'm going to put this on Mitchell. How am I going to show somebody else how to do this when I can't do it? No cursage. Get your monkey. Get it. Oh, what's wrong with it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me a time. In a case like this, use a hammer. Stay out of my film. This is a feature film. You ain't one to remember. You the cameraman. The camera negro. Yes, sir. Yes, bastard. Quit. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not going to call you bastard again, bastard. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> What's the deal with the tension won't go in? Let me try to turn the crank a little bit. Try to get a little more slack. This right here just ain't happening. Like the chain is too short or something. Yeah. Oh, there's one more thing I want to show you. This is that light I sent about. You can get it at Walmart for $10. See? Just those simple, real simple light, light stick kind of thing. Made pretty good. I think for $10, I paid 200 for one to go over the, over the hood. But this is worth Ten dollars per these at Walmart. Real sleek. You can uh, stick it up in a bad place pretty easy. See there? You can see pretty good. Ten dollars for a light. They got they got a short one and a long one. It's pretty cool. Don't it don't have a hook on the end of it. I guess you could get a piece of wire or something make it a hook. Better than to pay a hundred dollars for a lot or something. I believe it'd be good for pulling transmissions too. You could probably hang it up in there with a tie strap or something. But it throws out some good light for ten dollars. You know what I mean? All right, that's it. Putting chain on the quad for. I don't know what's next. I think a wheel band on something. All right, see y'all. Bye now.